minutes about the uh, nature of the minutes and and I assume that all that were shared with the group have been incorporated. I see the ones I, I suggested have been incorporated and so they all the rest of them have. And as I yes, as I understand it, we're looking at at the expanded draft version. Is that the one with that the with right the additions? Now. Yeah. So I guess my only question is does anybody have any objections to any of the changes to the minutes? No That's, objections here. Then if the chair is I, cool with it. I, I have a couple okay. just um, minor ones. On on page one of four, um, the one that starts towards the bottom, Holmes confirmed there is no vehicle access to the property from Howard Street. Yeah. Did you make that statement or were you asking the question? Because it ha I asked it. Because this is, sounds like a statement, and I think there's, there's no. I think there is vehicle access because I think she testified that there was. Did you park on the, the front? There's a street, and then the alley. It, the, so there's the, no the, curb the, cut. Right. That's right? what I was establishing. The only vehicle access to the property is through the alley. It was a question, though. That you yep. were asking. It was a yeah. question to the either the applicant or the applicant. Was, okay. I was trying to avoid having so many times say, so and so asked this. Yeah. So-and-so answered this. Right. It was, I mean, the bottom line is there was a confirmation that there's no vehicle access to the property. If you don't like it that way, I can change the question. I, I was, it, this wasn't a change. I, I was, my question marked it because I wasn't sure how Evan intended that. Well, we was could. It was a statement or a question. We could say that in response to a question from Holmes, it was confirmed. There can we, we go. That? Okay. Can we do that? All right. Was it no issue for thinking it, that was, was the city council is going to get these, and I. Evan, was it to the property or was it to the section of the property that we were? Because we were talking about the back section of. Right, it. I, th I wanted to make sure there was. We we didn't also have a drive through or some separate access from Howard Street, and I just wanted to confirm that. So that was my concern at the time. Is it better if it says onto the property? That's good. Yes. Yeah, because you obviously can park in front and walk. You can right. park in front of it. Right. right. Yeah. And then another comment that I had was um, actually in under item number three, it says the proposed guest house will have two bedrooms, one bath, a living room, and a dining room, great room, to provide guest accommodations year-round with no food or beverage service. Wasn't it defined that a kitchen, it's not allowed to have a kitchen? Are you in the first Is paragraph? It, yeah, in the first paragraph. I, I, I skipped one, sorry. I was pretty sure that it said that it was not allowed to have was, a kitchen. Well, that was stated later in the presentation when I gave the definition of a guest house. Okay, so so the city council will know that kitchens aren't allowed in in that structure as a guest we'll house? certainly know that, Okay. but probably not from the minutes. They, well, that's all that was provided in the packet. And I assume that's part of the record that will be provided right. to you. I just want to make sure that that, that aspect was known. Okay. okay. Um, the last paragraph on that first page, um, the applicant stated his intent from the beginning has been to have a guest house above the garage. Um, he, if I'm not mistaken, he, he followed that with because it would allow them to afford the request or the, the, the project, which to me is significant because it implies that he was planning to receive compensation for anybody utilizing the facility. He did say that. He did say that. I don't remember if it was in his first comments or if it was in response to the question I asked. I right. asked him to describe the proposed use or describe how he was going to do it. Right. He definitely, that was definitely part of the plan. Yeah. I mean, and and no since the whole, the whole issue here is, is what is defined in terms of compensation I, i'm i'd like it known that that's what the applicant was under the impression that's what his expectation was the next paragraph on page two does include compensation the word compensation right from the ely's definition of a guest would be a non-family member who provides compensation to stay there for a night or two and that was also the reason I added that one about the alternative to chain hotels. Because he didn't say in that response that he intended to charge, but, but he did say, I th certainly said, right. to allow him to afford to use it. Um, then on, 
or afford to build it, excuse me. On page two, the third paragraph from the bottom that said Boise, or not Boise, Bozzoli said, um, said hotel plans, I believe I said commercial, and then further on it says requirements, but home additions, I, I said residential, so I, I'm pretty sure that hotel should say commercial and that home should say residential. Where are you there, Joe? Um, third paragraph from the bottom, it's, it's just a single okay. sentence, said Bozzoli said hotel plans would need to comply with accessibility. Yeah. And then the only other thing, since this is part of the, the full record with regards to the second application that was approved, um, I would like it included that the applicant confirmed that there was no intention to have employees. Yeah, I did. did I, I must have missed it. I added it after you sent that email. Oh, okay. That, it's in there right at the end of Barry's testimony. Okay, so I'm looking at the one I printed it. Okay then I'm good. And just one other, in my notes, that question about compensation came when I asked if this was a new building or if he was remodeling an existing building. I wanted to get that clear. And he made a comment to the effect that he wanted a clarification on that compensation issue. So Yeah, that's in there. He did, yeah. and I... I noticed yeah, that that was there. He was asking two. for clarification right, as well. Right, so that it did come up two or three times. So I think we've got it covered. Right, then he had it yeah, again. Okay. And then, I mean, we do say, and that, so the, the relevant criteria and standards are a separate document that have already been signed by Joe. Is that? Yes. Okay, and they all say the proposed use is not authorized. Did they all say that? Is it that the quoted language in it? Yeah, well, that's the way we said we were going to do it. Well, if it's already signed, I guess it's already signed. But I, I thought that we added something like because the proposed use, I, I thought it had something as the proposed use being commercial because it is a co the proposed use is a commercial use. It's not. I didn't, I, I just barely noticed that, but I, I thought it had. I think the part that you had added was the the end of it that was it was a, as an accessory to a single family dwelling. Okay. But yes, that's I think the exact language that's on each of the relevant criteria. This as quoted. Yeah. But you're wondering whether the actual motion included the word commercial. Yeah, because I I thought as we clarified it, we we said it twice. I think Evan proposed one version, and then I thought I changed it more similar to the second sentence where it says it's a proposed commercial adventure that's accessory to a single family dwelling which is not allowed and it's in the minutes but I and I'm just concerned about it being clear that the reason we denied it is because the proposed use is commercial as described and a commercial use can't be accessory to a residential use right that was basic the basic justification for the decision I don't think we can change the RCS at this point anyway but I agree with you, but also the way I made the motion was just to use pretty much the All right, words if, as they're written here in okay. a minute. So, you know, we may have d done well to better define it, but we didn't at the time. Well, does that clarify why the will or will not or is or is not weren't circled on those seven criteria because we said that it didn't, that the whole thing didn't apply? Yeah. Okay. So it made no sense to uh, put one or the other. Right. Because I, I, I questioned that before I signed it earlier this week because yeah. I noticed that, that it was all still in there and one wasn't circled or deleted. And and I want to make sure this sounds so that that if if city council questions why those are still there and weren't addressed, that that's why we didn't specifically yeah. address each of the seven. I mean, I think I... I'm satisfied with it because we said, in our opinion, it's not authorized by the zoning ordinance, and so it makes it actually, technically, we can't even consider any of those, I think. And it makes no sense to. Yeah, well, the debate had got moved over to whether or not we had to uh, 
do the relevant criteria or not. And that's why I just proposed this. This was a simple way because I feel like we always have to give something. And so this was the yeah. something. I think if they read that paragraph, yeah. then it captures it. Any other comments or corrections? Anybody? Then I move acceptance of these minutes as we have corrected them. I'll second that. We have a motion. We have a second. Roll call. Aye. 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 We have four ayes. The motion passes. Minutes are approved. And barring any other business, that concludes this special meeting of the Board of Adjustments. Thank Anything you. coming? No. No other applications.